Now, my next guest is back with his latest book. It's called You I Hear. There it is. And of course, you'll know him as the author behind the global phenomenon bestseller, One Day, which sold five million copies. Also turned into a Hollywood movie. And of course, a massive, massive hit for Netflix. Well, author David Nichols joins me now. It is so good to meet you. You too. It's and congratulations on, on everything. I mean, all we can yeah. see, all of the amazing, amazing works that you've done. And this one, You Are Here, lots of people saying it's your best ever. I think it's the best one. It's yeah. my favourite, yeah. Is it really? Yeah, I, I, I feel like, um, you know, it, it has all the love story elements of one day. I feel it's just a little bit more carefully written and I, I'm very proud of it. Yeah. Well, the thing is, you know, you keep getting better and better, don't you? That's the thing yeah. about being a, being a writer. Yeah, you're always learning. I don't think you ever think, oh, well, I know how to do it now. Every yeah. book is different. Uh, but this one, I think I've, the voice that I, I, is exactly what I wanted it to be. And I, I really love Marnie and Michael, the characters. So it was, yeah. it was a joy to write this one. Hard to say cheerio to them at the end, isn't it? It is. It's yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. no. Because so. <laughs> they become so, you know, yeah. so real. Well, I they do so. become yeah, so real. That's, 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 that's and he's an interesting fella, isn't he? He goes for lots of long walks, doesn't he? Yes. Michael, is uh, his marriage has just broken up. Mm -hmm. He's in a, quite a bad place and he can't really bear to be at home. And so he goes on these long, long walks into the countryside just to just to try and work out what's happened to him, which you discover during the course of the book. So yeah. he's become a little bit antisocial, a little bit frightened of company until he meets Marnie. Mm, I think a lot of people will identify with this completely. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to, yeah, trying to trying to make sense of your life. We all get to that position, don't Absolutely. we? We really do. And you go for long walks yourself, don't you? I do. You're I mean, somebody that's, that does that. That's the origin of the book, really. Right. Once or twice a year, I go on a long three or four day walk. I just take the early train and see how far I can get. Uh, walk from station to station, wow. stay in pubs and through the dales or the lakes or along the coast. And um, it's a really important part of my year. And I wanted to write about it, but mm -hmm. it's quite hard to write about it, something when it's just you. Right. So I had this idea of making, uh, taking a love story and charting it on a map and making each leg of the walk a different stage of the relationship. That's so clever. Yeah. See, that's the thing that sets you <laughs> apart. You get these brilliant ideas and then you're away. Do you think about work when you're walking? Or is I it do. You do? I do, yeah. yes. I mean, I have this little notebook that I, 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 if I come up with an idea for an amazing line or uh, character twist, I, sure. I imagine that I'm going to write it down. I never do. I never do. Nothing ever gets written. But I think a lot and it really, really helps. Oh, no, writing. of course yeah. it will do. Now, the thing about your books is when you are reading them, you can see it's so vivid. You can see it in your imagination. Of course, that's what happened with One Day. Yeah. They made the film and then obviously Netflix this year, yeah. hugely successful. Um, did you, are you part of this process? Because, or do you just kind of hand it over? How does it work? Um, with One Day, I was very much part of the process, Good. but I didn't want to write all the scripts. Right. I had a wonderful writer called Nicole Taylor, working with the team and they wrote most of the scripts. I wrote one episode, I wrote the penultimate episode. Oh. Uh, and it was lovely to go back to the characters and write again, but, but it's very much Nicole's work. Oh. Yeah. Um, and so I am involved and, and I have adapted my own work in the past, but it's very hard to be as tough as you need to be with your own work. You're very mm. aware of the thinking behind it and the work right. that's gone into it. And when you turn a book into a, a film or television show, you just have to cut. You have to cut away all the thoughts and all the, the metaphors and all the poetic writing. It just has to be about what the characters say yes. and do. And that can be quite ruthless. I was just going to say the word is ruthless, yeah. and that can be quite that can yeah, be quite difficult. Hard. But I mean, this one will will touch a chord with everyone. But there was just something about one day that I don't know. It just everyone so identified with yeah. these characters, didn't they? Yeah, I think pe it made people think about their own past, about their uh -huh. friendships, about the the choices they've made, uh, about regrets, but also about how important friendship and relationships are to us. And mm -hmm. I, I was amazed uh, at the response, but I also really, really, really love and admire everyone who made the show. It was a mm. very happy experience for me. Oh, it was, we had Leo, Leo Woodall in, who yeah, obviously played the lead, yeah. and is going to, and everybody said this is his breakthrough. So when he yeah. wins the Oscar, I do hope for whatever project <laughs> in the future, he can always say, he can always thank you, David, for, <laughs> they were for setting him on the right track. They were so good. They were so yeah. good, and I was so lucky with that casting. You know, yeah. they were absolutely immaculate, and they brought so much as well. You know, when you, when you adapt a book, you cut out all of the interior monologue, but if you get a good actor, you can read it on their faces. Yes. Both with Amber and Leo, you absolutely got that. Yeah. 
Is it true your kids didn't get to the end? Was it, is it well, because... <laughs> <laughs> I think my daughter has. Right. My son likes a lot of, you know, he watches The Sopranos and that kind of thing. Oh, really? This is a very different thing. <laughs> uh, if they did get to the end, we haven't talked about it. I think reading or watching stuff your dad's written is a bit like watching them dance or do karaoke or something. It's a right. little bit... It's not for them. I understand it's a little bit completely. I mean, they're very proud and very supportive, but I don't mind at all. No, I don't mind. Of course <laughs> not. Of course not. This could easily be another one. I would imagine that yeah. they're they're battling over the rights for this one. Uh, I would we're have thought. having some conversations about it. Having yeah. some conversations. Yeah. I love it. Having some conversations yeah. and. Are you already working on the next one? Are you giving yourself no, a wee break? No, I wish. No, I'm having a little break. I Everything think has come at once. And this, right. this last three months has been wonderful, but overwhelming. Of course. And I, I don't have many novel ideas. It tends to be every three or four years. So. But that's good. It is good. And having yeah. the time now, because exactly. you, you know, you, you have got ever such a slight track record. Yeah. <laughs> so you no, can, I don't you want can to, take your time. <laughs> to start it unless it's a good idea, because it's you know, two or three or four years of your life. Of and course. It's overwhelming. So. It is so good to meet you. Really lovely to meet you. It me. really is. And I've got such respect for you. I love this cover. You yeah, know the way it does that? Amazing. Look, Look isn't that, that brilliant? It's so good. It's so distinctive. <laughs> it's obviously going to be a huge success. I hope so. Um, but thank you. Thank you very so, much. So, so much. I really, really enjoyed it. Oh, I'm so I really did. It was, yeah, it's one of those books that stays with you. And you That's are great. here. It's out tomorrow, isn't it? It is. Yeah, it's out officially tomorrow, but obviously you can order it now.